Hi, this is a video on my Behringer Model D module which I've taken out of its case and put into a Euro rack format and in doing so um, I thought I might have lost the MIDI channel switches but I found out that the MIDI channel switches can operate if you plug it back in again and make a board for it. This is how I did it. This is the unit that I made. Uh, it's got the MIDI switches here and my two output sockets for your main amplifier. This here, you can see that, I'll show you, is where the original power supply was. This little badge here is where the on off switch should be, but it broke on the original unit. Uh, right on the back of it, if you can see, it's a uh, it sticks out quite a bit. I've got a Behringer Go unit and it just fits in when you put it on. Um, these here are actually supplied from the Behringer unit itself and so you don't have to worry about a power supply running into here anymore to get the MIDI channels working. On the back, i just put that out of the way, on the back there the problem, the only problem I found with it is that when you press the switches this would push backwards into the uh, into the plate so I put a cap on the back of it and glued it down made of a piece of wood basically to make it solid I don't know if you can see let's have a look um, doo -doo 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 -doo. I made a little cut into the wood so I could just cap it over the top and then glued it all down onto the back of this aluminium plate the output jacks here have a, a speaker cable connected here which runs to the Behringer on the back which is there so we need to make the cable which actually runs from that part of the unit to the Behringer and extend it and what I also had to do was get some screening cable which you can get on eBay and it's self adhesive and put it down here and they had to remove this original cable because it's soldered into here and put these jumps on and the plug socket here to be able to plug it back in again uh, otherwise you'll get a humming sound coming from the interference of this board through to the cable uh, it's, it's easy enough to do the only part you've got to do is to measure this up and slot it all in basically it's as simple as that and then you've got your, your MIDI switches back. Here's a diagram of the board putting it together and um, all the dimensions are here. Thanks for watching, bye!